Good evening. Simple Show presents the not so scary history of Halloween. <laughs> Jimmy is so excited. Tonight is Halloween, and he will be trick or treating for the very first time. His grandmother Annie walks with him, and Jimmy is amazed by all the different costumes he sees. And at times, he is also a little scared. <laughs> Good that Granny is around. Jimmy asks her where Halloween actually comes from, and Annie explains that most likely it all began a long, long time ago in ancient Britain. The Celts, who then populated the island, believed that October 31st was a magical day where the veil between the world of the living and the dead was thinnest. Ghosts, witches, goblins and fairies were said to roam the streets and the souls of the dead revisited people's homes. So everyone had to disguise and hide from the evil spirits and their tricks. <laughs> Annie adds that trick-or-treating has its roots in the Celtic festival as well. People laid out food and drinks at their doorsteps as offerings to appease the evil spirits. Much later, the Catholic Church decided to transform the pagan festival into a religious celebration called Hallowtide, an occasion to honor and remember saints. At the time, the so-called criers, all dressed in black, rang bells around town, reminding everyone to remember poor souls. And the poor themselves went door to door, offering prayers for the dead in exchange for treats such as soul cakes. In addition, they carried vegetable lanterns carved from turnips or potatoes, which later became the well-known pumpkin lights. Finally, during the Great Potato Famine, the festival traveled with the Irish Catholics to America and became today's secular holiday that everyone can enjoy regardless of their religious beliefs. Of course, playing pranks had to be part of the celebration. And the children dressed up to trick or treat in seriously spooky neighborhoods. <laughs> Just like Jimmy tonight. Jimmy is surprised to hear that Halloween is a major celebration of dead spirits since the old ages. And he secretly wonders if he will meet a real ghost soon. <laughs>